Duncan. Last on the island of Sodor, we met the Scarlowy engines. The red one is Scarlowy, the oldest one on this railway. The orange one who won't be here is Reneus. And the other two are Peter, Sam, and Sir Handel. All are very useful and don't give up. Most of the time, anyway. One sad day, Scarloe was very sad indeed. He could only think of his friend Reneus. Unfortunately for Scarloe, he was hurt and could barely make steam. Peter Sam woke up. He thought Scarloe was being funny, and he left, thinking nothing of it. Sir Handel, on the other hand, was a little older and understood. I felt the way you were feeling when Grandpa, he was reported missing. I, I, I got over it over time, and so should you, he said. Then he started to puff away slowly. Scarlet would try to feel better, but since he was hurt, that was all he could think about. That night at Crovensgate sheds. Sir Handel was complaining about as he does. The new engine is a little rude, he complained. When the engine puffed up, he was long and orange. His boiler was awkwardly long, putting his face in an awkward position. He looked much larger than the rest of the narrow gauge engines, but he didn't care. And he was rude, Scottish, and all. He told him that the whole day, he got weird looks for how he looked, and he felt angry about it. Everyone thinks I look weird, even though some kid's bigger that was some kid's head was bigger than his body. Duncan argued. He looked like he was from Hoover or something. That next day, Duncan was back to his work. He rattled, rolled, and shook down the rails. Rock and roll, he yelled. His driver stopped him quickly in his tracks, and Duncan was stumped. His drivers complained to him, telling him he needed to stop. Duncan decided to stop, until he didn't. Down the hill, he was practically bouncing. Woo! He cried as he bounced and rebounded down the hill. At Proven's Gate Sheds, Scarlowe was talking to a blue engine. Oh dear, here comes Duncan, he explained to Edward. Duncan rattled into the sheds. He was cross since a passenger called him oversized. But Duncan could care less if he tried to. Ugh! Oversized pop! he exclaimed. But just then, Sir Topham Hatt stepped out of Edward's cab. He soon walked over to Duncan. Duncan, I need you to pick it up during the day, Sir Topham Hatt chimed. There was a prolonged silence. Um, let me reword that. You need to not let passengers bother you and not be late. You have to pick up a train now. After collecting the cars from the depot, Scarlowe and Peter Sam watched as Sir Handel did some calm down puffing. Sir Handel, stop! Car Scarlowe said. Sir Handel couldn't hear him. Peter Sam started to hear rapid puffing when he heard the whistle of Duncan. Duncan's brakes had given in and the cars were being difficult. Duncan knew there was nothing he could do. Sir Handel, move! He cried. Sir Handel knew he couldn't do anything. Duncan shut his eyes. Roll the credits.
A Thomas the Tank Engine Fan Production.